Hey Taurus and welcome to my channel. My name is Indy and I'm here doing your channeled messages from Spirit for December 2018. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, they will not apply to everybody, so just take what fits, leave what don't. And as always, this is for entertainment purposes only. So um, Taurus, when I was meditating on you guys, um, I kept seeing the number four. To me, um, when the number four is shown, it is telling me that your angels are close. They are here to support you and help you with inner strength and to rebuild um, a solid foundation, to start rebuilding your life. Uh, some of you are getting out of long-term relationships. Some of you are getting out of marriages. Um, lots of cycles ending for Taurus. So this is a beautiful number to see. Uh, it means you're going to start rebuilding what didn't work in the past. So, um, for you guys, it's important to remember that only love is real. So if you want to manifest real love into your life, you have to live a life of love and compassion. So, um, I see for some of you, not all of you, uh, you're, you're very judgmental towards somebody right now. And that's going to, um, only bring that back in as a reflection, you know, you're going to, um, only manifest that back at you. So just try to be cautious of the words you say to people, um, and how you are treating others in your environment. So, um, some of you are fighting letting go of somebody or somebody's doing this to you. Um, remember to remember what this person was actually like. A lot of times when we break up with somebody, we, um, we idolize them almost. We think back of the good times, the good memories, the times they made us happy. And our brain filters out all all the shitty things they did to us, all the lies they told, all the cheating they did, all, you know, however the, it fits in your situation. So when you're thinking about this person, make sure you remember the relationship for what it truly was, because for this group of people, you deserve way better. You deserve somebody that's going to be faithful to you. That's not going to lie to you. And it's going to treat you like the, the queen or king that you are. So, um, remember to think what's best for you. And for the other person as well. Nobody should be in a relationship where that's okay. So um, that will really help you uh, let go a little bit. Um, for some of you, it looks like <clears throat> it's time to heal your broken heart. It's time to... Um, yeah, you're taking back your life. Uh, you felt kind of uh, you felt kind of stuck with the person that you had just ended a relationship with. Um, some of you are just starting in the divorce process, but you are getting out of that stuck feeling. For this group of you, you are letting go, and that's only going to bring true love in for you. Some of you around December eighth. Uh, ninth, tenth, around there, uh, shit could hit the fan. Um, there's a situation coming towards these group of people who, this is somebody you're getting a divorce from because I see it in the court system. You could be hiding money from them or they are hiding money from you. One of the two, it's coming out and it's going to be big. So, yeah, it's like I see someone stockpiling money. Um, make sure you're being truthful because it's going to come out in court. And it's going to be better for you to tell the person or to be upfront about what's going on instead of it coming out in the court system because then the judge is going to question everything you're telling them. So um, truth is, is the best uh, solution for that for this group of you. Um, and I see you're hiding money cause you're, you're worried. You're worried about being on your own, taking care of the children. Um, so you did it out of a fear. Um, but it's, it's going to come out. So you're better off being honest with, uh, the other person, their lawyer, whoever it is that you're dealing with. Um, 
for some of you, you're in a relationship that from the outside looks hunky dory. You're the family down the street that has the two kids and a dog with the white picket fence. Um, not literally, but you know what I mean? Like everybody in the outside world thinks you guys are great, but it's a totally different relationship inside closed doors. It's cold. It's distracted almost. Um, there's no communication. There is a love for each other, but you're not in love with each other. Um, it's calling for you to take action, to move forward. Uh, because there is a soulmate waiting for you. There is true love waiting of the fire sign nature that is um, going to come in shortly after this relationship ends. And you're going to wonder why you waited so long, why you lived in that cold, heartless environment for so long out of fear. Because this person is really going to sweep you off your feet. They're going to treat you like you should be treated. Um, so don't fear the future. Don't fear um, what's coming for you because what's coming for you is better than what you have right now. Um, for some of you, you're dealing with somebody that appears to be something and you're going to find out in December that they are nothing like they portrayed themselves to be. Um, you thought you knew this person and something's just going to flip where you're going to see their true colors. Um, I don't see this as a lover. I see this as a friend, a family member, a coworker, um, somebody that you thought, you know, you could trust somebody that you, um, thought was something they're not be cautious of this. Um, I don't see them, you know, like doing any harm in any way, but, um, be careful who you trust to tell your personal business to, because, uh, I see them going out and telling other people your business that you thought you told them in confidence. So, um, yeah, it's like a friend, family member, coworker. It is not a lover. Um, for some of you, your intentions are very unclear. You're keeping secrets or somebody is doing this to you. Yeah, I see this is happening to you. Their, their back and forth energy, very unclear about what they want. One day they want this, the next day they want that. You're wanting to break free from this energy. Um, but you're having a hard time looking at the truth. Uh, of what this person is, what they're doing. Um, it's, it's safe for you to break free. It's safe for you to move forward. Like I said, don't fear the future for this group of you either, because what our intentions should be is to live our best life at our highest potential. So if you're in a situation where you're unhappy, know that the universe has something better coming in for you. Always do what makes you happy. There's no reason to be unhappy. I mean, yeah, there's things that happen in life that we can't avoid that um, that are really shitty, but it's all in how you perceive your surroundings. If you're in a relationship that is unhappy, if you're in a relationship with somebody who's very controlling, um, they tell you what you can and can't do, but yet they do whatever they want, break free from that. Nobody should live like that. You are have so many potential people out there that would love to be with you. Don't waste your time on someone that doesn't love, appreciate, and respect you. Um, yeah, you're going to break free from this energy towards mid-December to the ending of December. Um, some of you, I see you staying through Christmas because you have children with these people and leaving right after the first of the year. Some of you, I see by the second week of December, you're gone. Um, <clears throat> For some of you, you're needing to compromise with yourself on what you want um, between what your heart wants and your mind wants. Uh, you're going to have to find a compromise. Uh, for some of you, for some of you, you have a secret coming out at the end of November that's going to affect your December. I see you are the one with the secret. Um, so be cautious if you're keeping secrets from a loved one. Uh, because chances are they're coming out towards the end of November after this full moon in Gemini. Um, some of you are dealing with somebody who's five to 10 years older than you. Um, they, you're worried about um, this person 
you are the one that is faithful, but you're worried that they are not. Um, yeah, I don't see them cheating yet. Um, or at all. I mean, not yet. I don't see that they're being unfaithful to you. So be careful not to get stuck in your thoughts and your mind. Um, and overthinking things because we can talk ourselves into some pretty outrageous, uh, situations that aren't even what is going on. So, um, trust them. They are being faithful to you. Um, for some of you, you have to realize your worth. You have to realize your value to the collective. Um, you're feeling kind of depressed. You feel like, why is all this stuff always happening to me type of energy? You deserve to be happy, but in order to be happy, you have to know your value. You have to know your worth um, because, because you're irreplaceable. You have infinite worth, infinite value, but you're treating yourself like you don't. And so you're attracting that vibration to you and attracting people that are going to treat you like that. How you treat you is how others are going to treat you because that's how they see you be treated. So, um, treat yourself like the fab people that you are, because, um, that's going to bring in better energy around you. For some of you, you guys are starting a new journey at the end of, uh, November. New opportunities are coming in for you guys. Um, they're coming towards you fast too. Uh, some are moving homes because you're ending a cycle with somebody. You're moving locations, homes, uh, there's just a lot of new opportunities coming for you guys. Uh, a lot of you are starting your new businesses after the first of the year. Congratulations. Um, the hard work is going to pay off. Uh, for some of you, you guys feel... Uh, you, guys, you guys feel lots of fear, negativity towards the ending of something. Could be a job, could be a relationship, could be a lover. Um, but you're feeling a lot of fear and negativity. Uh, somebody's going to come in for you. That's going to help you move past this. They're going to, their words are going, going to be like therapy to you. Um, and it's going to push you into a much, much more positive environment. So, um, allow those new people to come in, allow that friend to help you, uh, be an ear to listen to, uh, because it's really going to change your outlook on things. For some of you, um, you guys are fa uh, fighting with family. You're having a family feud. This is coming to an end beginning of December. Um, I do see around the 12th, some of you are receiving messages from family members wanting to wipe the slate clean, start over. Um, their, their intentions are true. Uh, you can trust that that's what this person is really um wanting to do and not trying to just, you know, pull a fast one on you. Uh, for some of you, you guys are focusing more on your careers than love because you've just had enough of the, the games out there. You are having a hard time finding somebody that's real with you. Um, so you are going to, uh, start focusing more on your work and it is going to bring you in wealth. Don't focus too much at work though. There's an unhealthy balance because you have to keep your social life going because adult interaction is vital. Um, for some of you, you are trying to make a deal with somebody. This could be in a divorce because you're worried about losing what you have. Um, yeah, I don't see them taking this deal. I see it going to court. Um, Some of you are trying to find balance in day-to-day -day life. You're trying to you're trying to understand why you you're feeling like the situation that you're dealing with has been unfairly given to you. Like you didn't deserve what is happening to you and for the majority of you you don't. But it's happening and you're trying to wrap your head around why me? Why did this happen to me? What did I do wrong? Sometimes we didn't do anything wrong. Sometimes the person that we trusted, that we loved, um, didn't deserve that, didn't deserve our trust, didn't deserve our love. 
And sometimes it's just best to leave that as your answer and move on. Forgiveness is needed, not forgiveness of the other person um, so much, but forgiveness for ourselves. Sometimes we have to forgive even when we don't get an apology from somebody. Uh, and that's when we just forgive ourselves for loving the wrong person and moving on. Um, so don't spend too much time and stress out too much about the who, what, when, where, and why. Um, focus on that it happened. We accepted the fact that it happened. And then forgive ourselves for loving, trusting the wrong person and, and begin to move forward because you guys have a life partner for this group of you that is coming towards you toward, uh, around new around the new year. So um, anywhere from like the 28th of December to um, I would say the 3rd of January, um, you're going to have uh, a life partner enter your life. For some of you, you know this person, but you've never been with them romantically. And for some of you, it's a brand new person. So it's very important to begin that self-healing, to begin moving forward and leaving what did not work in the past. There's no reason to look back at it um, anymore because nothing we do say or think can change what has already happened. So why waste our precious time worrying about it? Um, for some of you, someone around you is um, trying to make you feel guilty for some reason. They're trying to make you, they're trying to make you question your decisions um, because they were at fault. And this is really kind of head, you know, messing with your head. Uh, don't let it. They're just, uh, for one, they're jealous that you're moving forward and moving on. For two, um, they don't want to be the one that was at fault. So they're trying to blame you to make themselves feel better. Uh, for some of you... For some of you, your home life is going to improve. You will begin the healing process and something's going to be illuminated to you in the first week of December. Um, this could be a secret coming out. This could be just something. And it's something you already knew, uh, but you didn't know for a fact. Well, it's coming out and it's going to allow you to push into a positive direction. Um, it's going to be the answer you needed and your home life is going to improve so much. Um from that point on. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. So just allow that information to come in, process it, let it go and move forward. For some of you, you guys have a twin returning in December. Hear this person out. Uh, this person, uh, communication has been kind of hit and miss. Um, but this person is literally coming back. They're ready. They're ready for a relationship. Um, really open up communication with them about, all right, where do we go from here? What, okay, we're, to, we're together now, or you're back and want a relationship. What does that mean? Where are we going from here? Um, because this person's very wishy-washy. Uh, they could be a, a fellow earth sign, water, air ever, all of them, but fire. Um, this person's kind of back and forth. They're not sure. Um, one day they want this next day. They want that. Make sure you have it, uh, set in stone. This is what I need. This is what I want. This is what I expect. Either you do, or you don't, if you can't provide that, then come back when you can. Um, some of them will be back. Uh, but some of them are to the point where, yeah, I can do that. So um, there's two different groups of twins here. They're at a little bit uh, staggered in the journey, but you're both hearing from them in the month of December. Um, some of you are getting engaged. Congratulations for the majority of these engagements. They are life partners, um, which is super exciting because our divorce rate is just ridiculous anymore. But um, be cautious uh, of um, not giving enough time for this group of you, you guys already have kids. Um, either they have kids, you have kids, or you both have kids and you're going to become a joined family. Um, make sure you guys are setting aside time for each other because it's about to get a whole lot of hectic and, um, it's a beautiful, beautiful relationship. So don't fear it, but make sure you're taking that time. My hair is just ridiculous. 
<laughs> make sure you're taking that time to uh, to devote just your whole concentration on um, each other because that's going to be uh, really it's going to be a big change from having one kid to having five kids or you know three kids to four kids. It's just, it's going to take some time to get used to. So make sure you guys are um, setting aside time once a week to just do something adult. Um, for some of you, uh, you could be dealing with, it looks like a Libra, Capricorn, Aries, Cancer. For this group of you, this person is a lot older than you. Yeah, they're really struggling with getting out of a situation that they're currently in. This is another twin situation. They're really struggling um, seeing the finish line. They know what they want. They know that it's you they want. They just don't know how to get there. And they're really, really struggling with that. Um, be patient. They're coming. Open up communication with them and let them know if there's anything you need. I'm here. You know, just let them know that you're going to be there when they get there because they're really uh, scared that, OK, I'm going to leave everything I know, my relationships of the past, my family or, you know, whatever the situation is, jobs, because some of them are moving locations. They're worried that they're going to leave all of what they know behind and they're going to get to you and and things are going to be different. Um, this, uh, this relationship has been going on a couple years now. There could be a large age difference in this as well. Yeah. Just so make sure you reassure them that this is what you want as well. Um, you, uh, for some of you, you're dealing with a twin that uh, is not communicating with you. You're having a struggle with this. You're having a hard time dealing with why they ghosted me. Why aren't they talking to me? What did I do? You didn't do anything. The intense uh, connection between the two of you is keeping him or her at bay for right now. Because when the two of you are together, it reflects uh, and magnifies the things that we haven't dealt with in life, our karmic debts, our karmic lessons. So they need to work on themselves. And I encourage you to work on yourselves as well. And by summer for this group of you, um, you will be in full union. So if you're dealing with somebody that has ghosted you, continue to work on yourself. Because if, if you um, continue to work on yourself, then it'll come in quicker. If you give up, if you don't know, you know, if you're questioning what this is, um, then it's not going to come into a union anytime soon. You have to get to the next step of this journey. Uh, for some of you, you, uh, you are being called to take action. It's a time of action. It's, uh, For some of you, you're dealing with a water sign. You're waiting for them to return. They are, they are returning in December. Um, but for this group of you mostly, this is for people who in, are in unhappy marriages. Um, it's time for you to take action. It's time for you to be happy. Um, quit self-sabotaging your happiness and quit sacrificing what it is you truly want for someone else's happiness. Um, believe me, when you are happy, truly happy, you radiate that to the world. And it, in turn beautifies everyone around you. When you're miserable and in a stuck relationship, it does the same, but with negativity. So make sure you're doing what makes you happy and don't worry about what everyone else thinks. Um, who cares? The only one that should care is you. Are you happy? Yes. Okay. Then are you happy? No. Well, take action, make yourself happy. And those who are intended to be in your life will stick around and if they're not in your life yet, they will be attracted to you. So um, you deserve it. You um, deserve to be happy. For some of you, you guys are seeing 777. You are going through a spiritual awakening. Um, also threes, uh, if you're seeing the number three, 
uh, big spiritual awakenings around the first of the year for you, Taurus. Uh, amazing energy coming in. I'm just, you guys have had a, a difficult two years, uh, especially the last or the first, the first year of the two years was especially hard. Um, the last year has still been hard, but um, that's going to go away uh, once you take action. But 2019 is going to be a beautiful year for you guys. Um, it's time to set your intentions for what you want to accomplish in 2019. Some call them new year's resolutions or whatever. Um, make a list of your goals. What are you going to do in 2019? Uh, a bucket list of sorts. What are you going to do? What are you going to accomplish? What do you want? And co-create with the universe, bring in what it is that you wish for, what you dream for, because in 2019, you're going to have that power. You guys are going to have a strong manifestation period between the second week of December into the end of March. Take advantage of it. Use this energy to your benefit because um, big things are coming in for you and you deserve them. So, so don't be scared of them. For some of you, you're dealing with a younger, immature fire sign. Um, they're crossing boundaries left and right. Make sure you are setting your boundaries and stand your ground because um, they will cross them if you let them. So, uh, Make sure that you're drawing that line in the sand and telling them, listen, buddy, you cross it, you're done. Uh, because they're really treating you like an option instead of a priority. Make sure you are standing your ground and, and uh, yeah, they will straighten up for this group of you. Uh, some of you are starting a new business. Uh, you're going to find a little bit of struggle in the first month or two, but don't give up because this is going to take off like hotcakes after the first of the year. Uh, you could have started it around September or October all the way up to the first of the year. Just hang with it. Stick with it. There is no growth without the growing pains. So make sure you don't give up on your dream because after the first of the year, it's going to take off. Somebody is going to uh, recognize your company and it's just it's going to be like domino effect. So, uh, don't give up. It's, it's coming for you. Success is on its way. Um, for some of you, you have an ex that is showing up in your life. Remember some things are better left in the past. Uh, X from, I always, I don't even remember where I heard this. I think my grandma or somebody, but she always used to say, uh, an X stands for three, uh, three things. It's thanks for the experience. What was the second one? Thanks for the experience. Oh, no, I went blank. I don't know. I'll have to come back to it if I think about it. It was a good one. But anyways, like I was saying, leave it in the past, especially if they are a fire or a water sign. Because they didn't treat you right. And they're not going to. They need to grow up a little bit. Um, yeah, it looks. Yeah, it looks like some of you are dealing with. Somebody in the court systems. I don't know if this is you or your kids is parent, other parent, don't use your kids as a bargaining chip. Um, somebody is going to try to do that in the month of December. Your kids can feel that. Um, they hear your conversations when you don't realize they can hear you. Uh, and it's really going to affect them. So really be cautious what you talk about in front of your children, no matter what age they are and try not to use them for a bargaining chip. Um, and, and be observant if your partner is trying to do the same thing and call them out on it because uh, it's not right. And this could be your partner soon to be ex. I don't, I don't think it's you Taurus, but if it is, it doesn't matter. But um, whoever's doing it, don't do it in front of the kids and call them out on it if they are doing it. Um, for some of you, you've been working hard. I, yeah, you've been working hard to gain stability. Um, 
your angels are here. The universe is here to co-create with you. Like I said before, dream big. Um, some of you are leaving a toxic relationship with a cancer. Uh, stay strong. This person is going to consistently try to come back. Um, your true love is coming for you. Um, some big important dates I have for December. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. The 8th, I see uh, like the 8th, 9th, and 10th, somewhere around there. Um, the 8th is really prominent though. Court hearings. Be careful uh, if you're hiding anything. Um, December 11th, I see um, twin flames returning, reaching out, communicating from the 11th to the 16th. Um, December 15th is my birthday. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it is, but that's not an important day. Um, December, I just missed that one. Okay, December 19th. Um, there's somebody coming in that is going to, not to be overly dramatic, change your life. Uh, this person is a life partner. Um, they're going to come in and literally change everything um, for the better. So welcome in new people. I see this at a holiday party, a Christmas uh, party, work party, something. It's a large group of people. Uh, you are going to run into this person, meet this person, and it's going to escalate beautifully from there. The 23rd of December, I do see, uh, yeah, I do see soulmates and twin flames returning that day as well. For those of you who are single, super, super single, the 27th through the 3rd of January, um, huge shift in energy. And it's going to bring those people who are not waiting for anybody who are just single, bringing in new people into your life, new situations, new opportunities. So don't close the door before you open it. Uh, because there is wonderful people out there waiting to um, snatch you up. So uh, stability is coming for you guys. Uh, a lot of you feel emotionally unstable, physically unstable, um, mentally unstable. <laughs> Believe me, I've been there. Um, stability is coming for you guys. Ask your angels for help. They are always at your shoulders waiting to uh, heed the call. You have to ask them for help, however. Some of you are going through a huge spiritual awakening, a huge transformation in life, and um, you're going to start being able to hear, see, and feel your guides, however it is that you're going to receive their messages. Uh, could be one, could be them all. Uh, that is coming after the first of the year, but it's something to look forward to. Um, I think that's all I have for you guys. Yeah, that's all I have. So I hope you guys have a beautiful December. If you're in the States, happy holidays. Um, I can't believe I'm saying that because it just felt like we were in July, but um, I hope you guys have a beautiful season. Remember the reason for that. And um, I send you all healing, love and light. And may God bless your journey.